Are you feeling fat and insecure? I guess. Well, with the waist thinner plus ultra, you can get your dream body today. Bada bing, bada boom, just like that. Oh my god! Illusion level 100. I used to feel really insecure about my weight, but thanks to the waist thinner plus ultra, I managed to get my dream body in a couple of minutes. Gone are the days of working out, being self-confident, and working on your self-worth. For only $999, you can look good and feel good. Order yours today. Dial 1-800-STOP-BEING Fuck this guy, and fuck your waist thinner bullshit. I'm gonna tell it to you straight. Products like this, you know, processed waist thinners, waist limbers, etc, 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 are full of shit. Tell me how products like this are supposed to empower women to feel better about themselves. If anything, this product promotes lying. Not just to everyone else, but most importantly to yourself. This shit is one big lie. It's promising you a temporary solution to an even bigger problem. And what is the bigger problem? Now understand insecurities. We all have something that we're insecure about. But in my opinion, what most people feel really insecure about is their weight. Fat shaming, bullying, you know, it doesn't even have to be the punch you in the face kind of bully. There's also a thing called subtle bullying, which we're all unconsciously guilty of doing. Oh, hey man, what's up? You look like you gained some weight. You look like you gained some weight. Yeah, man, I did. Thanks for noticing. <laughs> What's wrong, man? Did I hurt your feelings? Yes, very much, yes. I mean, geez, man, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to actually offend you, you know? I was just trying to make a conversation. T trying to make a conversation by noticing how much weight I've gained. Yeah, I was just trying to be nice. Well, 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 well you look like you've gained weight yourself. Huh? I was out for a conversation. Oh, really? I mean, gee, man, thanks for noticing. You've actually been in the gym, you know, for a few months now, so... The gym! <laughs> the gym! Yeah, man, the gym. You know, working out, pumping yes, out. Yes, working out, yeah. Artwork, beast tackling, rise and grind. Oh, yeah? Grind. Huh? <laughs> the gym, huh? <laughs> well, gym this! You get the point. Now, in terms of fat shaming, admittedly, I'm guilty of fat shaming. 100% guilty. Me, personally, I like chubby women. I like plus-size women. I like women big. Now in my head, you know, when I play around and make some fat jokes, to me it's just a joke. In my head, it's just a joke. I have no intention of actually attacking another person. To me it's just a joke. Because I like big women. But do the other person know about that? No. In their mind, you just called them fat. You just gave them a reason to feel more insecure about themselves. Even though that wasn't your intention. I mean, sure, they laugh it off, you know, play along with it. But deep down inside, they still feel hurt. And this is why I think a lot of women fall victim to buying products like this. Because of bullying, because of peer pressure, and because of insecurity. Insecurity which can lead to her brain, you know, creating false expectations that she has to please everyone around her. To feel appreciated, to feel accepted. Which sucks because I hate seeing you women like this. But if you're just buying products like this for yourself and not for anyone else, then this video is not for you. Keep doing you. I have no problem with that. You ladies are amazing and beautiful in every way, and I blame the people around you for not appreciating you. You do not need to please anyone. If anything, you have every right to walk away from people who doesn't impact your life in a positive way. Give yourself the love that you would give someone else because you deserve it. There's no one else in this world that deserves it more than you. Your love is capable of doing so much things to other people, but you need it the most. If one of your goals is to be attractive or attract other men or attract the attention of other guys, then I'm going to tell you the truth. Nothing is sexier than an independent woman who owns up to who she is and what she is. When you love yourself, when you give yourself the love that you deserve, then you set a standard. You set a standard that if it's anything less than how I treat myself, then I don't want it. You can have it. I don't want it. I don't even treat myself that way, so why should I let you treat me that way? All these guys are stupid at the most basic things. You ladies make everything in this world seem right. You make everything make sense. You don't need anyone. You don't need to be beautiful. You don't need to be cute. You don't need anything or anyone. You just have to develop that confidence, which you're more than capable of doing. I mean, it'll take some time, sure, but it's all the more worth it because it's you. At the end of the day, you're all you've got. So I'm going to say this again. Give yourself the love that you would give someone else because you deserve it. You deserve it. I'm gonna end this here. You know, this is feeling way too wholesome and you know it's feeling way too good in my conscience. So I'm just gonna end this here. You know the Grinch can't have any good feelings or show any good emotions. So I'm gonna go and do some evil shit. <laughs>